Hello everybody, my name is Dratnos and welcome to my guide to the Raging Affix. Now Raging is a very simple affix. When an enemy gets below 30% health, they deal double damage. But despite how simple it is, it still kills a lot of people. So in this video I've compiled some strategies, tips, uh, and, and techniques that my group uses to make this affix a little bit less deadly. Now one massive change that was made to the affix between Legion and Battle for Azeroth was adding the Enrage tag to the effect. And what that means is that once every 10 seconds, druids and some hunter pets can actually remove the debuff entirely. So when you're facing individually problematic enemies uh, that are raging, and you have a druid or your hunter in your group, uh, you can deal with that very easily by just having them use their soothe effect or their spirit beasts equivalent effect. Um, now this is less useful though when you're fighting multiple enemies that are enraged at the same time. Uh, when it's not just one enemy that has one ability that you're trying to remove the, uh, the one-shot potential from, but it's just a bunch of enemies that are beating down on your tank. And when that happens, it's time to kite. Uh, kiting is, of course, something that we do all the time in, in Battle for Azeroth with a, a number of different affixes, but Raging is certainly up there with affixes that make you want to kite. Uh, this is at its most difficult, uh, generally, like after you've done a Shroud Skip. So, for instance, there's a Staircase Pull in Atal Dazar uh, right after Volkal, where traditionally we Shroud past the enemies guarding uh, Volkal, and then we skip back out in a similar way. Uh, and so then when we're fighting the enemies on the stairs there, we have nowhere to kite. Uh, so those pulls are particularly dangerous with Raging. Uh, but otherwise, most pulls in this, in this expansion, you can kite to a reasonable degree, uh, and that makes the, the affix a lot easier to deal with if you do that once they're below 30% health. Now there are some enemies that are especially deadly when Raging. Enemies like the Cutwater Harpooners in Freehold, the Iron Tide Raider in Siege of Boralus, and the Addled Thugs in Motherload. Enemies that just pick somebody in your group and then do a bunch of damage to them. Obviously when that damage is doubled, people are going to start dying. One way to play against this is to A, avoid pulling them entirely. You can do that with the Iron Tide Raider and Siege of Boralus, particularly if you don't have a Druid or Hunter to soothe off the Enrage effect. That's a great strategy for them. But if you have to pull them, try to not have multiple Enraged at the same time. There are a few packs in Motherload where there are multiple Addled Thugs at the same time. Uh, and if you have more than one enraged at a time, they can very easily just delete people from your group, uh, which is very bad, so you want to try and avoid that when possible. Uh, another thing you can do is you can wait for enemies to use their damaging ability. You leave them at about 35% health, then after they do a harpoon or after they do a charge, then you try and kill them before they cast the next one. That's something that's pretty difficult to do, but if you can coordinate it using your control effects in the last 30% of a mob's health, is a great way to deal with raging. And this goes for all enemies, not just those especially deadly ones that I've mentioned, but enemies like refreshment vendors, temple attendants, all the casters in this game. Uh, you want to not be kicking them between about 50% of their health and 30% of their health. Save your kicks, use them all in those last 30% when they're raging, because of course, uh, kicking double damage spells is much better than kicking not double damage spells. This affix also calls for you to examine how you use your crowd control cooldowns. On normal weeks, you'll often run in and use your AoE stuns right at the start of a pull. Uh, but if you do that during Raging Weeks, you're going to get yourself in this spot where they're 30% health and you have nothing left and people start dying. Uh, so instead, I recommend on this week, save your AoE stuns for when they're enraged. That can facilitate kiting more easily as your tank can get out of there while the enemies are stunned and not get killed on their way out. Uh, but it's also just a good idea as all the random casts that enemies do, uh, you want them to be stunned during the Raging window this week. Thanks for watching my guide to the Raging Affix. It's a simple affix, but you really can gain a lot of benefit by thinking about how you're going to play around it. And I hope this video has caused you to examine some of your own strategies uh, for dealing with it. If you did like this video, I have more like it on my channel. You may enjoy those too. Please subscribe, like the video, all that stuff. I'd appreciate it. Uh, thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.